Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Ali Shama here. Welcome outdoors. And more Mini 3D RC helicopter flights, especially the Mini GPS direct drive helicopter FW200 from Flywing Flight. Now, a number of people have asked me because I was having a very short flight time, very little flight endurance during winter, and it was turning warm, but again, it became cold. I don't know why I really hate cold. So a lot of people ask me, what is the flight time that you're getting? And I told them I'm not getting much luck during winter with the batteries. Anyway, talking about the flight times, of course, people ask, what's the biggest battery you can fit in this helicopter? And I told them you can fit an 11.1 volt, 1500 milliamp battery. That's the biggest you can fit in this RC helicopter FW200. So I have this fully charged 17 watt hour, 11.1 volt, 1500 milliamp battery. And I'm gonna put it in, and give it a flight, and see how long I fly FW200, including normal and some smart aerobatics, okay? If you look here, you cannot push this battery too much back because it will start touching the motor and then you are calling for a disaster. But keeping it where it is right now, the canopy actually fits properly. No problems at all. All right, so let's give it a flight. Okay, let's fly it. I'm sorry, I thought my camera was running, but it wasn't. And I actually took off and flew for 1 minute 38 seconds, okay? So I'm just gonna arm and fly and take it right from here. So what you missed in, in this period, 1 minute 38 seconds, I was talking about that it's really very, very annoying to fly it when it's in uh, optical flow mode because the speed is just like this no matter how much you push on the stick and it doesn't allow you to climb more than two meters altitude but as soon as GPS locks the satellites you get your speed back and you get your controls to respond nice and normal so flying with 11.1 .1 volt 1500 milliamp battery in GPS mode just like a normal pilot will fly without doing aerobatics like for example someone beginner just flying around to have fun with this helicopter we will see how long we'll fly and when the battery activates I mean when the helicopter activates auto return to home because of the low battery one more thing that I spoke during that 1 minute 38 second was that you know the other day when I was flying suddenly I lost all the pitch controls and helicopter abruptly came down and landed. Upon inspection, I found that there is this little 3D printed kind of material, a kind of nut, I don't know, it's a nut, yeah, kind of nut that actually, you know, mounts under the motor. And if it is broken, you will have no control on pitch. Trust me. Now, why did they put this under this motor is because this actually prevents more damage to the motor and the components of the metal rotor head or other components of the helicopter so as soon as including the motors of course so as soon as that you know you crash or something happen that nut will break and the motor will go free and also your pitch pitch controls will go free and you will not have much damage on the helicopter so i'm just flying flying like a you know normal person will fly this helicopter 3 minutes 49 seconds so far. I can practice flying backward, yes. See? This is the beauty of GPS RC helicopters. Without worrying, you can practice doing things that you're not good at. So I'm learning my orientation. And after that I can try the same thing without GPS mode. I'm learning the stick moves. Okay, nice. I don't want to switch to 3D mode because it will seriously disturb my flight times that I'm gonna test on this flight. But hey, it's getting boring, so... Acro Smart acro.
Nice. Okay. GPS mode. Let's turn off the smart acro. Let's go somewhere. I mean, slightly farther and activate RTH. Okay. And see how that goes. I will cancel the RTH when it arrives back at the landing position or takeoff position and then keep flying until it will activate RTH all by itself. So far, 5 minutes, 55 seconds, 56, 57, 6 minutes. 6 minutes. Let's see when the helicopter, I mean, yeah, helicopter beeps actually when the battery is going low, I believe so. So we'll find out what is happening. So far it's flying and doing its job really well. It's flying slightly sideways when coming back. But hey, as far as your helicopter comes back home and lands, you call it a safe feature, okay? <laughs> okay, changing the uh, orientation, coming down like, hey, 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 like kind of, I don't know, it's kind of getting wobbly movement up and down, oscillating. Not, uh, you know, the nose oscillation, but oscillations there. Okay, cancel. Let's fly it around. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Today is not too cold. I'm wearing a big jacket just because, you know, I'm riding my electric scooter with a Tronsmart Bang outdoor party speaker. So pumping out music all the way and people are looking at me like what the hell man look at that cool guy going on the electric scooter and you know pumping music on a on an electric scooter what kind of sound system is that i'll show it to you after this flight and actually there's a complete review of this uh, transmart bang speaker outdoor party speaker on my channel you can check it out and i also tried to fly with music uh 3d on a k11 os which didn't go very well you're gonna enjoy that video that actually sucked uh, <laughs> i really suck at flying 3d with music you know so i will enjoy some music on my way back so far we are flying fw200 gps helicopter for eight minutes no problems at all it didn't activate any rth so let's some 3d so let me just land and give it because I did some changes on the throttle settings. So I'm just gonna change <laughs> full 3D. Full manual, yes. That's nice head speed. Acro mode. So this is the second little acro that I'm gonna give it to him. Give it to this helicopter. Okay. Nine oh, so helicopter does beep. Okay, that wasn't the radio. That was a helicopter. Okay. So we have the first low battery warning. Still flying. I'll keep flying until it activates RTH. Man, long endurance actually gets boring, trust me. I mean, going to be 10 minutes, I'm still flying. So to say, if I don't do 3D and just do normal flight on 11.1 volt, 1500 milliamp, this helicopter will do I don't know 15 minutes 20 minutes no idea let's see when it will activate RTH So 
if I punch another three day, I might drain the battery quick. Actually, we'll do how long it will fly 3D on 11.1 volt, 1500 milliamp later. Today I gave it a little bit, little bit of 3D and rest all scaled flight to see what a normal person will get out of 11.1 volt, 1500 milliamp battery flying a flywing FW200. Ah, wow, 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 wow. Look at that, how it's just doing up and down movement with tee 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 with that beeping. It's actually enjoying it like hey yeah 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 yeah. Fifteen minutes. So, what's happening, man? Fifteen minutes, still no RDH. Come on. I'll keep flying. I'll keep flying until it forces landing. I'll restart the clip, hold on. The clip is getting too long. 18 minutes. I let it hover for a few seconds just because I... I mean, I started a new clip recording on my camera because 18 minutes of clip is a huge file. I want to, you know, cut the files into smaller sizes. So, start recording again and it's uh, 18 minutes. Why it's not activating RTH? Maybe RTH is on a certain level of battery and also because today temperature is not that freezing, you know? Anyway, I'll keep flying. So 21 minutes 36 seconds. Let's go talk to the battery. Eleven point one volt, three point seven, three point seven. So total volt is eleven point one. Number one, three point seven, number two, three point seven, number three. 3.7 so that is the reason it didn't activate RTH I think the RTH will be activated once the battery drops down to 3.6 volts or more alrighty so watching the voltage on 
battery, 11.1 volt, and each cell uh, 3.7 volt. FW200 flywing didn't activate RTH. Uh, as I mentioned, that it would probably do it on 3.6 volts or lower. And it actually flew. And it actually flew, as you can see, 21 minutes, 36 seconds. Now that is nice, given that I also did um, a little bit of 3D twice, just a little bit, not too much, on the Smart Acura mode. And in the middle I did a little bit of uh, full manual flight as well, but didn't do much 3D, just went inverted one time. And after that just kept flying it complete, like a normal person will fly in a scaled mode, you know, like a scale helicopter. And it gave me 21 minute 36 seconds of flight with 11.1 .1 volt. 1500 million battery still have 3.7 volts in each cell this means i could still ignore that beeping and fly around two more minutes probably before it actually activates rth so to say if you don't do 3d 11.1 volt 1500 million battery this flywing battery will actually let you fly your fw200 for 25 minutes or more how cool is that, man? It's awesome. All right, so thank you very much for watching this test. Next test is gonna be how long can you do 3D in a smart acro or full manual using 11.1 .1 volt, 1500 milliamp battery on FW200, for which I have to, of course, go home and charge the battery and come back on some other days. This afternoon, weather is good. I will probably have a chance to take a flight on my e-glide V4 Lite electric paramotor as well. So. Stay tuned for more videos coming to my channel. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon and turn on all the notifications. Give this video a big like and of course, if you have anything to discuss, you have any comments, feedback, just put them in the video comments. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button